In our Consumer Reports this morning, when it comes to grilling, the debate over gas versus charcoal may be a thing of the past. These days, some grills can do both. Our partners at Consumer Reports have tested two of the new hybrid grills and had its expert tasters weigh in on the results. Some of us swear by the smoky flavor of charcoal. Others like the quick convenience of firing up a gas grill. Hybrid grills promise to keep both camps happy. Consumer Reports just tested two, the $300 Charbroil Gas to Coal and the $500 Dynaglow. The Charbroil looks like a regular gas grill until you slide in this tray for charcoal. It's convenient because you can use the gas burner to ignite the charcoal, but because it only has one cooking surface, you can only cook with gas or charcoal, not both at the same time. The Dynaglow is basically two grills in one, so you can cook both ways simultaneously, but that means each cooking surface is relatively small. Consumer Reports ran temperature tests using thermocouples at different spots along the grill's surface. We found they got hotter in gas mode, which is important for searing a nice piece of meat. They didn't get quite as hot in charcoal mode, and after 30 minutes, the charcoal started to drop in temperature. So which tastes better? Consumer Reports asked its expert taste testers to compare burgers cooked on a charcoal grill with burgers cooked on a gas grill. A few of the panelists noted some brown grill flavor, and several picked up a smoky note in the charcoal burgers. But overall, the testers agreed that there would likely be little difference in taste when it's served on a bun with toppings. While these results may not convince a charcoal loyalist, at least there's a way to please them at your next barbecue. Both the Dynaglow and Charbroil use standard propane tanks and have coated cast iron grates and electronic igniters. The Charbroil also has a side burner.